This morning, a manhunt is underway for a teenager who investigators want to question in connection to the killing of Barnard student Tessa Majors. Three law enforcement officials tell NBC News the teen who was expected to come in for questioning fled, setting off a massive search. It comes as Major's family is speaking out against a recent claim that the 18-year-old went to Morningside Park, the site of her stabbing, to buy marijuana. Ed Mullins, the head of a New York City police union and not involved in the investigation, delivering this comment to a radio program. An 18-year-old co college student at one of the most prestigious universities in the country is murdered in a park. And what I'm understanding is she was in the park to buy marijuana. Major's family, who has stayed quiet throughout the investigation, firing back, calling the remarks deeply inappropriate as they intentionally or unintentionally direct blame onto Tess, a young woman, for her own murder. Adding, we would ask Mr. Mullins not to engage in such irresponsible public speculation, just as the NYPD asked our family not to comment as it conducts the investigation. Investigators say they haven't determined if a marijuana sale had any role in the murder. And Mullins later apologized, saying the comments were taken out of context. Majors, a college freshman, was fatally stabbed last week in what authorities say was a robbery gone wrong. On Monday, the medical examiner officially ruled the death a homicide. One 13-year-old boy is already in custody, facing charges including second-degree murder and armed robbery. His attorney arguing her client has no criminal history, and there is no allegation he made contact with the young woman. Let's light this park up. The murder shocking the community. An emotional candlelight vigil on Sunday drew hundreds. Test, 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 test. Major's family was thankful for all the support, saying Tess would not have been surprised by this beautiful reminder of our shared humanity. According to the city's crime stats, Morningside Park is one of the city's most dangerous parks for robberies. And reports of violent crime there even increased by over 80 percent in the past year. Police have since ramped up security in the park and the surrounding area, guys. All right, Stephanie Goss. Steph, thank you.